Welcome to NutriVisor, where we dive deep into the world of natural remedies. Today, we're exploring Ignatia Amara, a homeopathic remedy derived from the St. Ignatius bean tree. If you're curious about alternative medicine and its impact on emotional health, stay tuned. Ignatia Amara, also known as St. Ignatius bean, has been a subject of interest in homeopathy for centuries. Originating from the seeds of the St. Ignatius bean tree, this remedy is renowned for its potential in alleviating emotional distress, including grief, anxiety, and mood swings. Our journey begins in the 17th century Philippine Islands, where the Jesuits discovered Strychnos Ignatii. Fascinated by its properties, they brought it to Europe, naming it in honor of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Let's delve into how these tiny seeds are transformed into a potent remedy. The process is meticulous. Seeds from the Strychnos Ignatii tree are ground into a fine powder encapsulated or turned into pills. Some even use it in tonics. But what exactly does Ignatia Amara do? Let's find out. Ignatia Amara is often likened to homeopathic Prozac's, its primary use. Treating emotional turmoil, think depression, grief, and stress. It's not just about erasing symptoms, but building mental resilience to cope with them. Who benefits most from Ignatia Amara? It appeals to those seeking natural treatments and who are hesitant towards conventional Western medicine, especially beneficial for sensitive and idealistic individuals. It's a beacon of hope for many. Dosing is key. From two hundreds to six potencies, the right amount varies based on individual factors. But it's not just about potency. It's about understanding your body's needs. Let's break down the dosing recommendations and how to take it safely. How does Ignatia Amara work? Homeopaths say it affects the spinal cord, while Western medicine highlights its strike nine and brucine content. These toxic chemicals influence nerve signals, a double-edged sword in treatment. Despite being banned by the FDA from non-prescription use in 1989, Ignatia Amara remains accessible globally. Its strong tradition in cultures like Chinese herbal medicine makes it a widely sought after remedy. But with great power comes great responsibility. Ignatia Amara isn't without risks, especially due to its toxic components. It's crucial to understand these dangers, from liver damage to potential issues during pregnancy. Ignatia Amara presents a fascinating blend of history, homeopathy, and modern caution. As we've seen, it's not a remedy to be taken lightly, but for some, it offers a natural path to emotional well-being. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of Ignatia Amara.